Hi again, everyone. Um, yeah, look, welcome to my new series. Um, this video officially kickstarts my Moab Every Gun uh, series, and um, basically started recording uh, yesterday. So this is all brand new footage. It's not any backlogged footage or anything like that. Um, it's all stuff that I've been recording since yesterday um, and today. So. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't able to record for a little while, so I was sort of delving into some of the stuff that I had um, put on sort of backlog to... And I was using that stuff for a little while, while I couldn't record, but now that I can record again, um, thankfully, which uh, is definitely good, now I can start doing some new stuff, and... So this is my new series, my with uh, every gun. Um, so today it's with the M4A1, as you can see I'm using the uh, red dot silencer uh, actually just before i go on i just want to say i recently hit 50 subs uh, a day or two ago uh, which is pretty insane i mean i don't really care really that much i'm not i'm not interested in getting partnerships or anything like that but um i guess it's pretty cool to know that you know there's at least 50 people out there that actually are going to be listening to this um hopefully anyway so i'm not completely wasting my time um but it's cool, I guess. Um, 50 subs. It's actually gone up to like 58 already. Uh, I just got 8 subs basically over the last 24 hours. Which is probably the most I've gotten. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this is the M4A1. Um, as you can see, the quality is not as good as my other videos. Um, that's because I've been sort of experimenting a bit with the quality. Uh, mainly because of the upload sizes. So like, some of the other videos that I've uploaded, like my um, Kill Confirmed and a couple of the other just Team Deathmatch ones where I'm part partied up with Corpse Create, uh, my brother. Um, those, are, those are done at, um, I think about 5,000 kilobits or something. Um, so the overall overall size of the video is like 250 or 300 meg, which is quite a bit. Uh, so when it comes to uploading those, it takes a while. And because my upload counts towards my download, and I don't have that big of a download quota, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's not very good. So I'm trying to get the file sizes down, but I think this one here, I've, I've just got it too low. Uh, bit rate on this one is like, I think it's 2000 average. So yeah, it's not very high. And, um, yeah, that, I mean, that's the reason why the quality is bad. So I'm still trying to find like a nice, um, midway point where it's not too big and it's still good, good quality. Um, speaking of which, I recently put out an open question to you guys uh, to ask whether or not you know you guys like the quality of these videos since I've added the motion blur. Um, now, obviously, the motion blur adds a little bit of smudging and stuff to the uh, the he heads up display or the HUD, um, like the bullets and you know the, the perks there on the right hand side, the kill feed. Um, but obviously, it makes the whole image look a lot smoother and nicer. Like, gives it that 60 frames per second look, sort of like the Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, so I did ask you guys what you, what you think about that. Um, is it worth the trade-off? I mean, personally, I think it is, uh, as I've said, but I wanted to know what you guys thought. And uh, it looks like, overall, it's a resounding yes. Um, looks like you guys definitely think it's a good idea. Um, which is good, because I, I think it's awesome. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, so that's good to know. Um, so I might, I might be dialing back the blur just a little bit. On, uh, on subsequent videos, I'm not sure. I'll still be experimenting a bit with it, but the blur is pretty much definitely here to stay um, in the long run, anyway. And I might even do a tutorial in the future, but the only like on how to do it. The only problem with that is that um, it is quite a complicated process to go from you know, a captured video to to this picture here. Um, you can't just do it in you know, Sony Vegas or something. Or well, maybe you can, but I don't do it in Sony Vegas. I use it. I use uh, AVI Synth, which is free software, but it's scripting software, so you have to be able to write your own sort of scripts. It's not it's not as user friendly as like a you know, Sony Vegas or something like that, a Photo a Premiere Pro or anything like that. A bit more advanced than that. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure sort of how effective a, a tutorial will be, and and I can still only record in ten minute chunks. Sorry, and so um. Yeah, like, I, I presume a tutorial would be you know, 20, 30 minutes at the, at the minimum. 
So I might have to go across like three parts. I don't know. If there's enough demand, I might do it. Um, otherwise, I may not bother. But yeah, look. I mean, let me know. If, I mean, if you if you're really interested in in being able to do the same sort of quality and how to, how to get this this quality, then let me know. And if I get enough people that are interested, I might do it. Um. So yeah. Anyway, back to the video. Um, that's what I should probably be talking about. M4A1. Um. Not too bad. You can see I'm using Silencer. Um, it's not a terrible gun. I've, I've recently been trying to get the mod with the CM901, and that's much, much more difficult. I've got it, but it took a lot longer. Um, and I'll be uploading that in due time. Not too long. Hopefully tomorrow or something. Um, but yeah, basically I always use a Silencer in these because, uh, you know, when you go from Moab, um, you're going to be going with the Silencer because people don't know where you are, obviously. So it helps out. And um, I'll be playing a bit different as well. Like, obviously, because I'm, I'm intentionally just trying to get Moab. Um, some of the other matches that I've, I've uploaded where I get the Moab, it sort of just comes unexpectedly. I'm just playing. But um, but because this is part of the, you know, Moab with a big gun series, I'll be playing maybe a little bit more campy in some videos. Um, not in this video. In this video, I'm you know, playing quite normal. But um, definitely, like, with the Dragonov when I come across that, or pistols. Um, I will be playing a bit more tactical, a bit more, you know, slow paced. So, yeah, um, you know, just watch out for that. Expect that. Don't, you know, don't think that I'm a nub or anything. It's, it's difficult, right? It's hard to get, it's hard to get my with some of these guns. Um, I'm not denying that. You know, even good players find it difficult. So, uh, so yeah. Look, uh, as usual, I'm not going to ask you to rate or comment or subscribe if you feel you want to or if you want to say something or whatever, you're welcome to, you don't have to, whatever, I don't care. Um, but yeah, so look, I think I'm just going to cut the commentary short here for now. Um, sit back, enjoy the video, look out for my next one. I've already done all the SMGs, um, done the CM901, done the M4A1, so this gun. Um, ready for your goal. Oh, what else have I done? I think I'm up to Type 95 at the moment. Um, I've gotten Moab basically with all these guns at one point or another in the past anyway. They just haven't been recorded, but... Um, yeah, like, basically, you know, I figure I just do them all and, uh, and chuck them up. It's a good challenge, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy them. So until next time, guys, I'll uh, we'll catch you later.